Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of our coverage of the Versus Max Max Play Plug and Play. So we left off at uh, number 32 last time, which was the Triple Jump. And like I said, I'm just going to briefly go through all these games to kind of give you an idea of what's on here. So we are going to pick up on number 33. Um, like I mentioned last episode, I was going to let you know how many... it how many batteries it takes. It's four AAA batteries, so it's not the standard batteries. So we will go ahead and jump on into number 33, which is shot put. Here we go. Let's go ahead and go right on in there. And again, it's kind of like the same uh, ones I played. Um, these almost look like homemade versions. Nothing that officially came out on NES. Actually, I'm doing pretty good on this. I, historically, I've, I've never done good on these on the other plug and plays. Right. Oh, okay. Not too bad. Oh, well. That wasn't too good. All right. Let's exit that game. <clears throat> All right, discus put that right, kind of very similar. You just kind of whip around there and and just kind of there we go. Oh, wow, that yeah, that was pretty good. Surprisingly, I'm doing pretty good on this. All right, here we go. Um, that might not. I think I. Too much of an angle there. Right, here we go. Third try. Oh, I just fell down there. Alright. Definitely the first throw there was the best. Alright, let's see what we got coming up next. Uh, javelin throw. One of my favorites. I like this one. Of course, if you're like me, you, if you grew up in the 80s, you played uh, some games like this. Especially Track and Field comes to mind, which I like that one. Pretty good. Just such a button masher, though. Um, okay. Alright, cool. 85 is the uh, qualifying... Mm. The trick is, the trick is not only to build up speed, which the turbo buttons will let you build up speed, it's just getting the right angle for this game. Alright. Alright, javelin throw. Let's go to shooting. Alright, uh, oh boy, this game. I've never figured this game out, really. Now let's see. It does not use the light gun. Never could understand stand this. Alright. Mm. I'm gonna give it a one more try real quick. I think, I think I finally got this. After all these tries, if you... Wow. After all these tries, if you've seen my videos, you've seen me try this and try to figure it out. Now I think I'm in the zone now. Wow. Very cool. Well, I, I didn't qualify, but 
I think I finally figured this game out. So good. Yay me. All right. That was uh, shooting. Let's go with uh, target practice. Let's see what this game's about. Okay, this is the um, archery type of game. Good. Not too shabby. All right. Cool. Wow, I'm not doing too bad on this. I guess as many times as I played these games, I finally <laughs> figured them out. Okay, we're good with that. We'll go ahead and reset that. All right, we had target practice. 100 meter dash, that's going to be the next game coming up. All right, basically this is going to be easy. Just as long as you don't fault. Get a false start here. Just hold down the turbo button. And there we go. Easy. Easy as pie. <laughs> All right. 110 meters hurdles. All right. Same, same principle. Press up to, to jump. Nice. All right. Quick and easy. That's what, that's what it's about. There we go. All right. Which run? Let's see which run this is about. Okay. Looks like, like a vertical shooter. Okay, can't. Alright, this is different. I've never played this before. Well, all the plug and plays I've played, this is very different. Okay. Do I get power ups? Uh, let's see. Very slow feeling game. All right, so we got here. We get power up. No. Nope. Right, this is definitely different. All right, what is this? Is this an extra life? Yep. All right, good. Got a little bit of speed boost. I wonder if that's permanent. We'll check that out. Now, right, what's this? Heart. That doesn't seem to be all that difficult. Here's a boss, looks like. <laughs> All right. All right, this is going to be interesting. All right, we will. I'll delve deeper into this game for sure. Gameplay spotlight. This is a very unique game here. I've never played this before on any of my plug and plays. That was uh, Witch Run. All right, the next game up is Ballistic Mayhem. All right. 
Okay, this is different. Unique as well. You got your accelerating button and you got shooting button. Oh wow. Very different. Something I think so. Oh, okay, yeah. You look behind, there's a rear view at the top right, so you gotta look out for things coming up behind you, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Okay, this is another unique game. Okay, different. That was Ballistic Mayhem. Planetary Pool is up next. Let's see what that game's about. All right, that looks like ah, uh, kind of looks like a hack. Yep, of Lunar Pool or something like that. So yeah. So we're kind of getting back into the some of the hacks. Oh. Alright, we've played this. This is a uh, planetary pool. Interesting game. Okay. Alright. Helicopter Harry. Hmm. Alright. Oh. Rocking soundtrack there. This looks like, um, looks very familiar. Yeah, this kind of looks familiar. A hack. Yeah. I think this is what raid on Bungley Bay. I think. A hack of it. Or something. Yeah. Alright, looks like we're getting hack heavy into this plug and play. Uh, flybys and the next game on our list. Let's see what that game's about. Well, mm, yep. Another hack. Mm. Okay. Let's see if I can get 10,000 points here. Yep, I got it. Alright, cool. That was flyby. Snack attack. Hmm. Let's see what this game's about. Ooh. Okay. This is also a hacked version of uh, 
what is it called, milk and nuts or something? Oh. Oh, go, go, get away! Alright, there we go. Yeah, I think this is like a hack of... I want to say it's called milk and nuts. Snack attack. Bomb drop up next. All right. All right. What is this? Right, this game kind of looks familiar as well. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm not getting anywhere on this. Okay, I played something similar to this though. Bomb drop. All right, do I go down here? Drop a bomb here. Oh. bomb drop. I'm just going to let that d show you what that game was about. It's like a hack of a game. Cloudfire is next. Ooh. Mm. Okay. If I didn't know any better, this looks like a hack of Xevious. A very complex and uh, different hack. Could be wrong. Maybe not, because it's got power-ups. Oh, this looks like a hack of Twinby. All right, now. Now I got you. Yep. All right, cool. This is like a hack of Twinby. Looks like. All right, that was uh, what was that game? Cloudfire. Yes, I think that was Cloudfire. Yes. All right. Let's try Dragon next. Let's see what this game's about. Right. Oh, dragon. Let's try easy. Alright. Uh, it's the snake game. Of course, you're a dragon, not a snake.
five more left. Four. Three. Two. One. Great. All right, cool. That was the first time I actually played through a complete level of snake. Or uh, dragon, excuse me. All right, cool. Let's try Top Shot. Get that signal back in. All right. Top Shot. Oh, hmm. wonder what this game is. <laughs> It's top shot is what it is. Wink! Not Galaga. Alright, I, I, I would like to do a spotlight on this. Good old top shot. Alright, cool. I need to mark on my TV where the exact spot that they come out. That way I can be in position. Because that kind of throws me off whenever this bonus stage happens in Galaga. I mean top shot. Alright. Warrior Chase. Sounds promising. Oh, this game. Ah, alright. I'm gonna skip ahead. <laughs> we know what this game is. Warrior Chase. Defiance is up next. Alright, let's check that game out. Oh! Okay. This is different. A side scroller game here. Wow. I wonder what this game was originally. If anybody knows what this game is originally, just like leave a comment in the section down below the comments. I'm kinda getting curious now. Aww. Pretty neat, but a little bit tough. Alright, that was Defiance. Let's try Thinker. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Okay. Oh, okay. Is this kind of like Othello or something? I'm not that familiar. Oh, I see. Hold up. No, nope, that didn't work. Mm-hmm. I think I kind of get the idea of this. Do that. Okay. Computer cheated. Uh, let's see. I kind of think I got the idea of that after playing it. Alright, uh, where were we at? We did Dragon. Top Shot, Defiance. I uh, think Thinker, was that the game we just played? Yes, so now we are at down deep so that's the next game on our list let's check that out there we go down deep oh down deep oh hmm hmm wonder what this game is not dig dug We're 
we're getting down deep now. Hmm. Okay. down deep. Okay. Rich, down deep in my soul to play that game. Um, let's try climbing club. Let's see what this game's about. Ah, uh, kind of thought this what this, that's what this game is. Climbing club. The exclusive club here. Alright, we get the idea of this. second left 1.8 seconds all right that was climbing club hmm okay ultimate choice ultimate choice here to play this game. Alright, okay. Oh. Alright. This is different. must be a game that didn't come out over in the US. It would have been cool. As a kid, if some of these Famicom games that didn't come out to the US, it would have been cool if they came out over here, because I would have enjoyed some of these. Some of these I'm really digging. And the only way I've played is through a hacked version of the game. So this, this kind of looks like a hacked version of a Famicom game that I'm not that aware of. But yeah, this would have been fun to play back in the day as a, as a kid. Like, Milk and Nuts was another game that I thought would have been pretty cool to play as a kid, but uh, they didn't release it, so. Um, very interesting to see these games. Alright, that was Ultimate Choice. Let's try Bird Brain. Let's see what this game's about. Hmm. Bird Brain. Alright, this is that uh, bird game. I mean, it's different. It would have been... I'm not saying I wouldn't have enjoyed it as a kid, but it would have been so different. This is bird brain. All right, let's see. Oh wow, 
wow, is there a bird down here? You kids are going to be the death of me. <laughs> Alright, we, we played this. This is bird brain. Alright. Leaving the nest. Builder. Hmm. Kind of curious what this game's about. Wink. It's time. It's time to burger build. See what I did there. Ah. But it looks like it starts on a different level, so. Let's see if we can get this burger built. Here we go. So basically, you're just starting on a different level. This is just a hacked version. Well, a few changes, like the music was changed a little bit. Uh, that was Burger Builder. Propeller is next. Well. Ah, yeah. Played this before. See, this is another game I do not remember coming out in the U.S. Would like to have played as a kid. Well, we all know what this game's about, pretty much. It's um, a hacked version. Oh, okay. Here we go. That was Propeller. Now let's check out Need for Speed. Okay. Whoa. Uh, okay. Is this Spy Hunter? 
very quick version of Spy Hunter if it is. Well, I think Spy Hunter was originally quick anyway. But it's the need for speed. Ah! We're done. Uh, the need for speed. In the NES years. Alright, let's see here. Zigzag's another game. Um, I think I might have played this before. Let's see what this is about. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So fast, dude. Ah. Oh. Oh. All right. Seven, six. Oh, I think you can get these gas cans. Okay, cool. Ah. Ah, empty. Yes, that's how I felt after I played this. Okay. That was zigzag. Let's try bumpity bop. Bumpity bop. Boo. All right, is this bump and jump? Just moving. Not the buttons aren't doing anything. What is this? <laughs> Alright. That Okay, this is bump and jump. Uh, excuse me, bumpity pop. With a headache inducing color scheme. It's a lot brighter than what you see on the capture here. A lot brighter on my CRT. Oh. Rockin' soundtrack. Rockin'. I'm making. I'm going to make an MP3 of this soundtrack. Seriously, will. Oh well. Had to move on. Yeah. Hate to move on. Bumpity bop. In and out racer. All right, let's try that. Okay. 
Yeah. Know what this game is. Well, don't know the technical name for it, but. Ah. It's a little tougher. It's like they don't have the right color scheme. It just looks kind of meh. Ah, yeah. The color scheme is not that great on this game, this hack. All right, Monster Dash. Let's try this game, see what it's about. Uh, it's a paint roller game. This guy. Oh, he's just messing up my paint. What am I missing? Okay, a little bit right here. Oh no, I see it. I see it. See again, this with this color scheme, it's just ugh. it's very off. Takes long enough to draw another level. Okay. All right. That was Monster Dash. Now, final game today. We will wrap it up with Street Frenzy. Let's see what this game is going to bring us. Ah, City Connection. This is going to be tough because it's. From what I remember, City Connection, you. Uh... When you jump on the. Where is this City Connection? I don't know what this is. I just know in City Connection, when you go across the roads, it turns dark so you know what you've run over road wise this might not be city connection this might be something different well it does look like it finished up some more games so we finished 
with Street Frenzy, we will start with Neighborhood Smash on our next episode. Uh, interesting. A lot of hacks in this part. No, um, no light gun games. So we will see what the next part will bring us. Hmm. You know, new hacks, new interesting games, wink, nothing NES related whatsoever. But anyway, thanks again for joining me for part two of this. We will finish this up, this plug and play up with part three and cover the final uh, number of games and just see what we got here. So, I don't know, interesting, but it started out promising. Um, then we got into the hacks and stuff like that. Well, you know, but join me again next time for part three and I'll see you again next time.